What is happening everyone? Welcome back to G-Ball Vision. Today I have for you guys a really exciting unboxing to dig into. Before we get started, double check and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. I would love to have you here. And do me a huge favor, before you head out, hit that thumbs up button. Greatly appreciate it everyone. Feel free to let me know what you are carrying in your pockets today down in the comments. Love hearing from you guys and what you're carrying. So we have a knife coming in from Vastid here. Huge shout out to them for sending this in for us to take a look at. And we are about to dive into some of the best unboxing experience that you can get. We have our metal tin here. We have our zippered pouch, removable patch. We have paperwork, microfiber cloth, and there should be a sticker in here as well, if I can get it out. Is there a patch in here too? Sticker, microfiber cloth. And then we have our zippered pouch. This is what we're here for. So let's get this guy out, guys. This, I'm excited. Uh, very, very excited. So let's take a little zoomy zoom on this guy. We are taking a look at the new Hedgehog from Vastid. And this is going to be a very popular model, I have to believe. This is going to be using their top liner lock mechanism. And it's basically uh, a revamped compression lock, if you will. So it's going to lock up via a rear liner here and it will be disengaged via this button. So it's going to have all the functionality and fun of a button lock but you're going to get a lot more security in that lockup with the liner in this case. And these are coming in S35. No kidding. I was thinking 14C. So Vostid is doing some crazy stuff, guys. New pivot lock. They're experimenting with a bunch of different steels. LMAX, S35, 14C, uh, M390, they're just doing a ton of different stuff. So we have a black wash blade here. I do know that these are available right now. I will have a link to their website down in the description. If you use that link, it does help the channel out. Uh, entirely up to you though, of course. They do have uncoated blades as well as this coated version here. They have Micarta, they have Topo G10, I believe. So they have quite a few variations just in Vastid uh, fashion as they always do. And in Vastid fashion, we have a couple of different deployment methods here. So we have a fuller, dull thumb studs and a rear flipper tab. And guys, uh, I don't know if you've experienced the RS Chaos from Vastid or not, but that was their first attempt at the compression style lock and with the button. And guys, they absolutely killed it. We can bring that out here momentarily if I remember. But uh, I think they've done it again right here. Uh, you know, I've had a couple of different smocks. And of course, I have a bunch of different spider codes uh, with the compression lock. But uh, there's just something different about these and the way Vosti does these. Uh, they are so, so well-tuned, uh, strong lock as well. I have beat the hell out of my RS Chaos, and it hasn't flinched a bit. I do recall somebody mentioning they had an issue. Uh, there was a video with somebody having an issue, but I think that was kind of a, a misnomer because uh, I've really beat the hell out of mine, and that's the only time I've ever heard that. So I think you're going to be pretty safe with this style of lock here. We have a nice sheep's foot style of blade. This is not a massive knife, but it's definitely going to do the job. It's kind of a, a mid-size knife, if you will. You have a nice full finger choil here, so you can choke up right behind that edge. A lot of control over that entire blade. And because of that full finger choil, you'll be able to get right up on that tip just like I like, so you can get them precision, detailed cuts. You can gauge the depth of your cut. Love that ability. And then we have this nice little ramp here that just really locks you in, no matter which grip you're in. Now with my hands, 
if I'm back here, which I won't be uh, unless I'm doing something very light and quick, uh, I will be hanging off a little bit, but uh, I'll be up here. And in the case of the choke up grip here, I will have a nice comfortable grip. The micarta is a little bit different. Uh, they're sticking with that same kind of aesthetic that we've seen on, what did we see that on? Oh, we saw it on the new uh, anchor lock knife, the Onkilo, which we can bring that out as well. If you missed the uh, video on that, I will link it up in a card. That is a, another excellent knife that Vostid has put out. They are just... They are throwing haymaker after haymaker and landing every single one of them. Uh, just a fantastic job on their knives. We have a nice deep carry clip here that's been recessed into the scales as well as the screws. We do have internal milling in there for weight relief. And hey, what do you know? Filler tab for lefty carry couple companies need to take some notes uh, on that because too often we see companies uh, missing out on that and just the aesthetic of the knife with with it it just cleans it up so much if it doesn't have it it's a huge eyesore in my opinion and in the case of this this is a great looking little EDC knife right here all blacked out hardware blacked out liners and they're recessed. Uh, this is a good looking knife. I didn't do much looking at this before uh, it was sent in. I kind of I kind of wanted to develop you know thoughts on it as I had it in hand. Uh, so this is really my first true look at this knife. I took a quick glance when they sent a photo and that was the extent of it. Uh, we're going to get a nice deep carry here. You'll have just a tiny, tiny uh, point there poking out of the pocket. So it will sit nice and deep in the pocket. As far as the opening methods, guys, the studs and this rear minimal flipper here, uh, you can wind up on this guy. Just like the RS Chaos, you could. This is going to be the same exact thing. This kind of reminds me of an affordable or more affordable version of the Chaos, which I want to bring it out. So let's bring them. Let's bring out both their uh, good, great models that I have right here. So we have the Onkilo, which is in the prototype phase, Kickstarter phase. You can go pick one of these up right now on Kickstarter. Uh, it shouldn't take them long to get the production done. Uh, and that's what I was talking about with the texturing. Uh, I knew that that looked familiar. But anyway, the RS Chaos here was, is one of my favorite knives of the last couple of years. Uh, it, it's just so well executed. This is a White Mountain Knives exclusive in LMAX. Uh, one of my favorite knives of the last couple of years, no question about it. It is built like a tank, so well executed. Uh, that compression style lock or top liner lock that they do, uh, executed excellently. And the way they were able to tune both of these knives is incredible. Um, they are just really well tuned. You can get a nice wind up on these. As far as the fuller goes, you can use that for the reverse flick as well. So you can kind of pick your poison. Uh, probably use the fuller for me for the reverse flick and then use the studs for the thumb flick. And then of course you do have that nice minimal flipper tab there and it's done in such a way that you'll be able to get a lot of leverage on this because it's up above the pivot and the way that it's done, you are coming straight down on that and it just rockets out of there. Uh, man, I'm, uh, you know, I'm not simping for nothing. Vastid, if you don't think that, I'm not sure what you're looking at or what you've been handling uh, as of lately. Vastid is flat out killing it, guys. They are just killing it. Every which way you look, whether it's affordable models or, you know, semi-premium type models like the RS Chaos, the Onkilo, they're just killing it. 
every which way you look, different blade shapes, different steels, different handle materials. You have aluminum, titanium, micarta. They're doing G mascus. They're just covering every which way. They're doing crossbar locks, button locks, pivot locks. I mean, everything. It's, it's impressive what that small shop is able to do. Uh, and believe it or not, Vostid is a smaller shop. We get this idea, you know, with how good their products are and how often we see new things from them. We get this idea that they are just this massive company, right? And they are not. They are a smaller shop that's just <laughs> going out of their way to do excellent uh, pocket knives. So let's go ahead and stop our lushing and check this edge, which is very, very nice. S35, which I don't think I've ever had from Vostid. Uh, have I? No, I don't think I have. 154, 14C, M390, LMAX. Uh, I don't think I've ever had no S35 from them, and this thing has a nice edge on it. Not a bad blade stock either. I'd say a nice average blade stock, but you get this little bit taller of a blade, uh, so you're going to have some decent uh, geometry there to, you know, and this is a an EDC knife, you know, maybe a work knife. So you're going to be able to cover whatever you need with this guy. It really reminds me of this uh, RS Chaos. And they did a sheep's foot version, which would look even more so, kind of like this guy here. It's like a mini, more affordable version of the RS Chaos. That's exactly what it reminds me of. They did that more pronounced sheep's foot style in the Chaos. But uh, that's that's what this is like. If if you haven't got to experience the chaos, uh, these are going to be very comparable, just a little bit smaller. And if you do have a chaos and you love it, well, meet its little brother right here, uh, the hedgehog. <laughs> this thing is awesome. I love that flipper tab. I love the way that they did the fuller and the studs. I would love to see this thing in titanium and LMAX. That would be, which I'm guaranteeing, or I'm not guaranteeing, I'm betting if there's enough uh, hype and enough attention on this knife, they'll be doing other materials, titanium, and you know, this is probably a feeler version right here, kind of feeling everybody out, seeing what the interest level is of the knife. And as far as I know, there's a lot of eyes on this particular model and a lot of people going out and getting this knife. So let's go ahead and check this lock. There's no movement up or down and there's no movement side to side either. And then we did check centering and it is dead on. Uh, looks good to me. Might be off a touch to the clip side, but that might be from us flicking it around. I think it's, eh, it's, real, it's really close. So let's check this thing and see what we got here. I have no worries. I think this will be just fine. And we'll do one more. Uh, we'll do it up here. Yep. Nice and solid, guys. Very good. Very good. Uh, what more could you ask for? I mean, easy to carry, comfortable in hand, good fit and finish, nice sharp edge out of the box, solid lockup. And this is going to be fun as all hell to carry. Very satisfying to open and close this guy. Uh, and like I said at the beginning, you get that security in that liner there. You know, instead of a standard plunge lock, I will take this style of lock any day, all day. Uh, this is going to be a lot more secure and yeah, and you're getting that stop pin there. So you get a nice little added bonus of strength 
with these tile locks over a standard plunge lock. You guys will have to let me know. What do you think of the new Hedgehog? I am dying to know what you think about this guy. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Always appreciate that, guys. And if you're new here, well, we release videos every single day, sometimes twice a day, just like this one on all kinds of different EDC gear. Hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell, I would love to have you here. Otherwise, guys, I will throw up a couple of new videos. Go check one of them out. Have an awesome day. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you on the next one.